Alright guys, so you're probably wondering why I look completely different. That is because I'm playing on my main character really fast. I was over here in the Alakir Desert and I realized that Bastion has a quest as the Dolmen is starting behind me, but it's okay. Yeah, I noticed that Bastion has a companion quest and because it took so long for me to just get to the point where I can get a companion quest, I decided to just hop onto my main character and do the companion quest this way. Since I'm over here training him in all of his weapons and armor and all that stuff, so I'm trying to max him out in everything. And of course, like I said, in the process of doing so, I ended up getting a companion quest. I guess I got enough rapport from him for him to be able to give me one of those quests. So I'm very excited for this, guys. I don't know what the, the quest is about or anything like that so it should be pretty interesting this is the first time you ever doing this and i hear that doing the companion quest gives you the ability to have them as a house guest in your house and that's something i really want for the guild hall uh which by the way has been growing very fast here you go uh tamir armistice we have 164 people i'm playing in the middle of the night and there's 14 people on which for the middle of the night it's pretty good in my opinion even though we mostly play during the day most of the people play during the day so i'm curious to find out what this is all about so let's go ahead and talk to him and see what happens okay He has a stepbrother. Or a foster brother. That's interesting. Uh, what does the letter say? Whistly wants me to come to Daggerfall. He was even sort of polite about it. He says he needs my help with a personal problem. Which, of course, is no great surprise. But he offered an intriguing form of payment. What kind of intriguing payment are you talking about? As he found an old letter in Lord Silvell's study. A letter about my mother. She died when I was very young. And I'm not sure how exactly she knew the Silvells. But I want to know more. What do you think about a trip to Daggerfall? Hey man, I'm I'm down. I, I love you. You're a very good friend of mine, Bastion. You've been by my side for a long time, so of course, man. If this is something you need, I absolutely will be right there with you. I'll come with you uh, to meet Quisley in Daggerfall. So, I'm assuming Quisley only re reaches out to you when he's in trouble? I've seen it a hundred times. All of the Silvels have a way of warming up when they need me to do something for them. Offering something of value for my help? Something about my mother? That's new. Okay. What do you remember about your mother anyways? Not much, I'm afraid. I was very young. But always wondered why she left me with the Silvells. They weren't related to her or my father. I never found a satisfactory answer as to how or why I ended up with them. Yeah, that is... That is very interesting. There's, there's definitely something more to this story. And I'm sure we're gonna get more of it here, of course. So what did the Savells tell you? Only that I had no family left. And I should be grateful that they took me in. In time, I learned that my father was the last of the Halixes. My mother, though. I asked Lord Silvell about her family a time or two, but he never said much. Uh, do you think he could be lying? He could, but he knows I would break his bloody nose. <laughs> no, Whistly got himself into some new trouble. So he went looking for something he knew I'd want. And he's right, damn it. What has Lord Silvell been keeping from me? Yeah, I know. I'm getting very curious in this myself. So, if I remember correctly, the Qu the Savells were the people that raised them, obviously. When in the uh, first mission... I could be wrong on this. I don't remember it in extreme detail. But the dude with the purple outfit that was basically going and... Uh, I guess hooking up with this one... Uh, like, necromancer type lady... Uh, I don't think that's Quizly. It could be. I, 
can't remember, but he, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure he was a part of the Savell family. So, but just in case though, remind me who the, who is Quizly Savell? My foster brother. You've met him. Oh yeah, it is him. The Savells took me in when I was young and we were raised together. Although I never really belonged to the family. Quizly is the Savell's son. No matter how many times he disappoints them. So it is the guy with the purple that we met in the very first, uh, you know, companion quest to recruit Bastion. That was the guy. It was probably like the second, first, or like second or third video or something like that that I've made on this series. So, yeah. How how did I meet him? I remember, but okay. We saved Quisley Silvell from being sacrificed by the daughter of Sithis in yep. Deep Scorn Hollow, near Leowen. The idiot thought he was in love with the leader <laughs> of a death cult. You believe he was angry that we saved him? Yeah, well, that was pretty interesting. He doesn't seem like the brightest individual anyway, so... Yeah, he looks really pissed off right now, by the way. Or at least, at bare minimum, irritated. But yeah, let's go ahead and get going. He'll be in the Rosie Lion. It's his home away from home. Okay, sounds good. So, I want to show you really quick, since the conversation's done, I want to show you the progress that I've made with him. So... Uh, he's already level 20. He's got his ultimate and everything. So right about here is where I got this companion quest. I didn't do much. I grinded a little bit more since I got this, but I just got this quest earlier today. So it's not very much progress. So if you guys want to know when to get the first companion quest, it's right about here for at least Bastion. I'm sure it's similar with Miri, but once I get her to this level, I'll be doing the same thing, right? So this is what I have here. I'm going to be replacing this though, the searing weapons i have that at there temporarily because i want to upgrade him to 20 which he's almost there so that i can get vampire's bite vampire's bite's gonna replace searing weapons and i'm probably gonna mix these skills around a little bit but i'm i'm digging this for now but uh two-headed complete uh one hand and shield complete dual wield is what i'm doing next uh, restoration staff I'm going to be doing after dual wield. And then I'm going to end it with destruction staff because I want to give him a frost staff. Because he's got, uh, like, uh, this right here, it taunts. If you see right there, uh, frost blast taunts for 15 seconds. Which is the same thing for, uh, provoke. Which also does the exact same thing. And I think, I mean, I, I'm not going to do the math or anything like that right now. But I think this... Destructive Blast does a little bit more damage because he does love magic and I want to keep him in that theme. You know what I mean? I do want him to be happy, of course. So I'm going to give him a Frost Destruction, destruction Staff to end him. Complete Heavy Armor and he's going to be a tank. Uh, a magic tank. So yeah, that's my progress in terms of weapons. Class, of course, he's already maxed out on everything because he is max level. Armor, Light. Haven't been, haven't been able to, haven't done that yet. Medium armor is complete and heavy armor is complete. Guild, fighter is complete. Mage's guild is complete. And Undaunted, I'm working on it, but he's not complete yet. And of course, he's got his racial skills. So he's pretty stacked right now. And he's about to be more stacked here shortly once I uh, get his bow to level 20. So I guess we're going to meet Quinsley Savell in Daggerfall. The quest is called Things Lost, Things Found. Which is pretty interesting. I'm curious to find out what is going on here. So Dagger Falls right here. If you haven't noticed, I play this game quite a lot. I love, I love this game. But I save all the story, you know, information for the channel. So I, it's technically blind because I haven't been paying attention to the story in any quest. I just kind of rush through them. But... I, lo I just love this game. Okay, but anyways, where is Quizly? There goes Mighty Morda, aka the Undaunted Person. Okay, I found him. Quizly! She wouldn't hurt me, she said so! <laughs> I'm here, Quizly. What do you want? And what do you have for me? Easy, Bastion. You seem a bit irritated. Oh, why don't I talk to your reasonable friend here? No, just... <sighs> Fine. That's probably for the best. I like Bastion, man. He's a he's a little goody two-shoes, but he's a good guy, man. He's a... I value people with good hearts, and he's definitely one of those. So, Quizly. Me too. It's fortunate that you're here. I have some information that may make Bastion angry. Even though it's not my fault. 
However, I need help with a personal matter first. Perhaps a deal is in order? What do you need from Bastion? I am betrothed. An arranged match, but a rather good one. I have a Sylvelle heirloom, a ring to present to my affianced. Or rather, I had it. Oh, yeah. Enjoying the end of my bachelorhood, I... Well, lost it gambling. <laughs> I need that ring back. <laughs> Why does this not surprise me? This guy's a this guy's a fool, man, one hundred percent. So where's this ring? I lost it to a woman named Granetta. She's with the bandits who hide out at Illasan Tower. If you and Bastion find her, you'll find the ring. In return, I'll give him the old letter my father kept from him. It's from a Halleck's family servant. Your father withheld information about his family from Bastion. Nothing to do with that. I just found the letter while searching for a little gold to buy back the ring. But if it motivates Bastion to help me out, then we both win. Go get the ring. I'll meet you nearby and give Bastion the letter then. Very well. I'll go to this tower and find the ring. Loser. <laughs> I know Bastion and I haven't always gotten along, but I don't want to jeopardize this arrangement. My bride to be is from a very good family. I'm turning over a new leaf, I swear it. I won't need Bastion's help in the future. Somehow I find that hard to believe. A new leaf, you say? Well, I feel that my misdeeds have been exaggerated. But my father has made it clear that if I were to damage our new alliance with the Bouchen family through my youthful indiscretions, well, I have cousins who could inherit in my place. Uh, do you care for your bride to be, or is this just an alliance? To be frank, it's an alliance. The Bouchens have their concerns, thanks to many baseless slanders about me. But the advantages to both families are significant. I am fond of Morian, though. I want her to think well of me. So it's an arranged marriage. Uh, exaggerated. You're using a letter. That isn't yours to make Bastion help you. And risking my father's anger by meddling in business he did not want to come to light. If it weren't for me, Bastion would never even know that letter existed. Let's just say I'm being practical for once. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. In the sense that Bastion probably would never find out had he not told him or manipulating his way to tell him, but he is kind of using it as a crutch to force him to help him. So it's an improvement, I guess, in his personality, but, or in his like personality traits, but he still has a long way to go. You know what I mean? Before he's a reasonable human being. All right. Goodbye. Illusan Tower? Fine. Let's be on our way. Quickly, before I'm tempted to beat some sense into Quisley. <laughs> Relax, Bastion. I get it. Come on, let's go, buddy. We have a new quest. A new quest to do. Okay. Where is it? Here in Daggerfall? Or a oh, it's just right here. I don't even have to. I don't even have to take anything. Okay, let's just get on this magical steed of mine that's maxed out in speed and see what we how fast it takes to get there. It looks like we're almost there as a matter of fact, so that's a good thing. Absolutely a good thing actually. So excuse me. Haha. Looks like the place Quisley told us about. Hold up. Let's talk before we go in. I had a feeling he wanted to talk. I almost went in there. Uh, talk to Bastion. Rooting out a nest of bandits is a secondary concern today. We just need to find this Granetta and convince her to give back the Silvel heirloom ring, one way or another. Then we'll see what Quisley found. Did the Savelles tell you anything about your family? I heard plenty about my father's treason. I think the Silvels wanted me to understand how fortunate I was that they took me in. About my mother? The Silvels only said she died of shame. Oh, and I had an older sister, who died too. 
Damn, dude, Bastion. It makes me like him even more knowing how much uh, hardships he's been through and still end up a good man. Bastion, you're a good dude, man. I respect you completely. What are you hoping to learn from this letter? It may sound foolish, but I'd dearly like to know why my mother decided to send me to the Silvels. We're not even related. And I want to know more about how she and my sister died. Shame usually isn't fatal. Usually. Could be, though. By their own hand, unfortunately, sometimes. Uh, let's see if we can find that ring in the L in the tower. I can't stop thinking about what might be in that old letter. Let's find that ring already. Sounds like a plan, Bastion. Come on, let's go. I like having a uh Bastion uh, set up as a as a well period the companion set up as a DPS because this guy's a tank, right? So, and I do have AOE taunt with uh with this. Uh, with a two-handed weapon based off of my gear. I'm using the tormentor set which gives any or most aoe Or some aoe attacks and stuff Taunt so I could hit them and then they're taunted And it leaves some stuff on the floor that makes them a little stronger But because I'm a tank I do almost no damage So I like having my companion set up as a dps because it really they, they kind of compensate where I can't do damage they kind of pick up the slack there. Come on, Bastion. Stop fooling around. Wait, hold on. There's a there's a quest here that I guess I haven't done. And if you haven't noticed either, on the bottom, uh, I do have my ultimate ready. The ultimate is a werewolf. He is a werewolf tank, but be because this uh, armor set that I'm talking about... It also has the ability for your werewolf attack called Pounce to do an AoE taunt. So you can very much be a werewolf tank with this armor set. So let me take this and then I'm going to go back to my companion quest because this is more important. Bastion, take care of my lightweight. Hold up. I guess I could have gone down there, huh? Wait, how do I get over there? This way. Hello? Hello? And then my unrelenting chains? This thing also taunts. Because it's a pull. It's a good- it's a good armor set, but it's not- it's not meta. So if you want to be a meta tank, this is probably not the the set that you want. But it makes sense to me and I do enjoy AoE taunting, so it's I wish we had that naturally as a skill though. That would be great. Wait, hold on. Uh we are actually here. What do we have to do here? Find the ring. Okay. So it's around here somewhere. I gotta keep an eye out for a quest marker. I'm willing to bet it's down there, man. Oh no, actually, it's, it's right there. Hello. Nice to meet you guys. Let's dance. Let's dance. I'm not gonna lie to you. Having Bastion with Searing Weapons, though, it it is pretty nice to have that little extra boost in damage. Okay, so he's gonna... He's gonna be outside then. So that's convenient that I don't have to go all the way back to the Rosy Lion. My first player home. That has absolutely nothing inside of it. No big deal. Leave that other player alone. Even though he's probably stronger in the damage department than me. <laughs> Alright, which way? Yes, this way. Happy birthday! Bastion, take care of my lightweight, please. Look at that, look at that damage. Oh my god, dude. Bastion's a monster. Bastion is a monster. I do wish, though, and let me know in the comment section if you guys agree or disagree with me. I wish there was, well, A1, 
more variety with companions and two a companion or at least a couple of companions that is either morally gray or maybe less than morally gray like an evil character like a dark brotherhood character or even a thieves guild character that would be that would be freaking dope to have a companion that's dark and you know dark like that that would be awesome all right where is this guy oh he's not even here the quest marker shows this direction though so he should be here there he is hey quinsley over here did you find it um we found your ring now give me my letter ring first please i wouldn't put it past you to take it straight to father and make me get it from him put it past me i keep my word quizly deal with my comrade if it makes you feel better i mean he's a pretty noble character like a goody two shoes he is a man of his word out here out of sight from the scoundrels who hide in that old tower I just... I really need that ring back. I'm supposed to present it to my betrothed at a gathering tonight. Do you have it? Yes. We found the ring. Do you have the letter? I brought it. I wouldn't go back on my word. Don't you make that face at me, Bastion. <laughs> I don't want to disappoint Morian. And I've promised my parents that I won't. This is the last time I wish to involve Bastion in my affairs. Well, then here's the ring. None the worse for its travels, thank the gods. Bastion's letter is right there. I can't tell you why my father held on to it. So, Bastion, you should have no quarrel with me. I think this successfully concludes our business. Do you anything? Do you know anything more about your uh, why your parents took in Bastion? I never gave it much thought, to be honest. My father only said it was an obligation, and that Sylvels should live up to their obligations. I was angry about it at times. Some days I resented Bastion's presence in our house. Resented? Why? Isn't it obvious? Bastion never got into trouble. When I didn't study, my parents would point at Bastion and ask why I couldn't be more like him. Damn. They cared more for him than for me. Until my father took me aside and explained things. That That is pretty messed up. Explain things? What things? That Bastion was not a Silvel and never would be. My parents saw to his needs, and when he was grown, they gave him important work in looking after the family's business interests. I would expect more gratitude on his part, frankly. Honestly, that's that's kind of fair. That's fair. Why would Lord Silvel keep a letter intended for me? Read it, would you? If it's some sort of terrible news, at least you can break it to me gently. I mean, it would make sense for you to read it. Letter from in a with that person. Oh god, that's going to be hard to read. Dear Bastion, I hope you remember me. By my reckoning, you would be about 15 now, nearly fully grown. You were very small when I last saw you, but I have thought of you often over the years. I was a servant to your lady mother from the days before she married your late father. I also cared you for a time after your mother passed away. I brought you to the I, to House Silvel in Daggerfall and I worked for them for a few months. But I was forced to leave you uh, when you were still quite young. I want to know... I want you to know that you were your lady mother's main care and concern even when she grew very ill and knew she was dying oh my god she set aside jewels from her own dowry to provide you with funds for education and such she asked me to take you to live with your sister as soon as we were allowed to leave house of l clarine clarine Clary, that, okay, is quite a bit older than you and was already married. When your father was disgraced, but some, uh, when your brother, when your father was disgraced, but somehow it seems the Savelles were given charge of you instead. I asked several times when your journey would continue, but never at 
uh, never got a satisfactory answer. Soon after, I was dismissed. I now reside in a village of Redford, uh, where I work at a hearthy horvor in at the hearthy horvor. I can't pronounce that word. Okay, I have some. Uh, family in Grotwood, and I'm comfortable enough these days. If you would write to me there, or if you even traveled in uh, in this part of the world, I w it would do me a sight of good to see or hear from you and know that you are well. With care and fondness, Erelith. Okay, come over here so that Quizzy doesn't have to talk to you. You don't look horrified. I suppose I should screw up my courage and read it for myself. Let me see it, please. Okay. You were not forgotten by your mother, even when she was dying. I think I remember Inalia. A little wood elf lady. She was kind of... <clears throat> Why would Lord Silvel keep this from me? What became of my mother's jewels? Why was I not sent to my sister? Did you say your sister? Uh, didn't you say your sister was dead? That's what I was told, but I don't understand. Clearly, my sister was alive at the time my mother told Inalia to take me to her. Did she die before we left Daggerfall? I need to go to Redford Trading Post in Grotwood. Inalia might have answers. I'll go with you, friend. This all would have been much easier if Lord Silvel hadn't concealed so much from me. I imagine he'd say that he did it for my own good, but I admit. I've got some ugly suspicions about his motives. What game was he playing? What exactly happened to your parents again? My father was Lord Martel Hallex, and he was a traitor to the crown. A traitor? He was a trusted advisor to High King Emmerich. But when I was only two, he plotted to arrange the king's murder and assume power. My father was found out, though. The king had him executed. And stripped House Hallux of its lands and titles. Damn. What about your mother? She was questioned rigorously, but the king's agents couldn't prove that she knew anything of my father's plot. Emmerich spared her life, but the shame of the whole affair broke her heart, or so I've been told. She died shortly afterward. Goodbye. So I guess we're going to Grotwood. Right? Yeah, go to the... Uh, okay, Grotwood. Is there a closer? There is. There's one right here. Come on, Bastion. Keep up. So, Grotwood. Yep, wrong one. Right. Nope. Wrong one again. Get in there. Okay, there we go. Grotwood. Okay, well, I guess I should have... Checked where the ma where the quest marker is because it's not in the main city. I don't think. All right, let's check the map. Cities are as alive, fickle, and uncertain as people. Okay, it's way up there. Some are good, some are bad. Some give you gifts, others rob you blind. Okay, whatever you say, there, Bastion. He loves cities. So where is this quest marker? It's right over here. All right, come on, Bastion. We gotta see Air er Death or whatever her name was again. I wonder what she's gonna say. This is interesting. She's gonna be ecstatic. I guess we should just <gasps> Wait, I thought she was a wood elf. Someone must know oh, this is not. Yet. This is Vinal. Vin yeah. Okay. Inventory and deliveries do not get sorted by themselves. This one is rather busy. Uh, we're looking for Air er in in her. Does she work at this inn? Inalia, you are several weeks too late. The poor thing. Vesa was not here when it happened. Nellor, the innkeeper, found coins missing and blamed Inalia. Sent her off just like that. After Inalia worked here for years, she would never steal. Hmm. That's interesting. This is like starting to feel like a gigantic conspiracy. Uh, do you know where she went? We need to find her. She went into the woods. The wood elves, they love their trees. But it's true. Inaliath is not young anymore. This one worries. Vesa thinks she made camp somewhere south of the village. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Alright, I'm going to take my horse there. How far is this anyways? 
Not far at all. And my horse, that's super fast. He should be able to get there relatively quickly. <clears throat> All right, we're practically there. All right, find that uh, founder. Strangers. I don't have much. If you think to rob me, I'm not trying to rob you. Do you not recognize this beautiful young man next to me? I may not be a spry as I once was, but I am still good with a bow, and I know this part of the Grotwood better than most. I can look out for myself if I need to. This is going to be interesting. My friend is Bastion Halix. Are you ill in, in her uh, who once worked at the uh, for the Halixes? Bastion, that little lad grown to such a big man. <laughs> I have wondered and worried about him for so many years. Leaving him with the Savels never sat right with me. He should have been sent to his sister in Wayrest. I agree. He was told that his sister had died. Wasn't true. Clarine married Count Orzin of Wayrest. Just last year, I asked a traveler from Stormhaven about them. He told me the Orzins and their children were well. Are you saying that poor Bastion was never sent to her? No. The Savels took him in and raised him. That was not what his lady mother wanted. Knowing that Bastion still had his sister was a comfort to her in her last days. Oh my god. What of the jewels she provided? What did Lord Silvel do with Bastion's fortune? Disgraceful. Why, you poor lad. Yo, don't tell me. Don't tell me the riches that they have is all was all intended to be Bastion's. And they just pocketed it out. Oh my god. Why did you bring Bastion to the Savels instead of going straight to Wayrest? The king's officials thought Lady Clarine might be disloyal too. They commanded me to take young Bastion to the house of a minor lord and keep him there for a few months until they were sure she had nothing to do with Lord Halix's treason. The king told the Savels to take in Bastion? Someone in his court did. The Silvels had a young lad of their own. They were close at hand and there were no doubts about their loyalties. Lord Silvel wasn't terribly happy about it. But he agreed to put up Bastion until things got sorted out. Uh, what became of the jewels Lady Halix sent with Bastion? Lord Silvel took them for safekeeping. I knew it. Send them with Bastion to Lady Clarine when the time came. But I don't know what happened after I was dismissed. Uh, I knew it. He pocketed the, the jewels. Uh, what did the Savels tell you when they dismissed you? Lord Silvel said that Bastion would be cared for. It wouldn't be my worry any longer. And he hinted that the king's officials had suspicions about some of us who served the Halixes. I'm ashamed to say that I took his gold and ran for home. Wow. Bastion, we gotta talk there, buddy. Oh, my little lord. It does my heart good to see you grown and well. Malian. I do remember you. Is, is what you say true? I was to be sent to my sister and her family? Your mother insisted on it. She wanted you to be with your kin. Why that never happened, I don't know. That is a mystery I want to solve. I need to speak to my friend here first, but I... I have so many questions for you. Man. What's up, buddy? All these years, I assumed my mother had preferred to die instead of living with her disgrace, even if that meant leaving a small child alone in the world. But she didn't. And the sister I thought was dead is alive? I am... stunned. What do you make of all this, Bastion? I feel... relieved, I suppose. <clears throat> and confused. It's strange. My mother made arrangements for me. I wasn't just forgotten. Why did Lord Silvel ignore her wishes? Was it simple greed? Or did something else happen? What about your sister? I want to meet her, of course. <clears throat> but I wonder if perhaps she didn't want a tie to our disgraced family. Or maybe she didn't want to be burdened with a child to raise. 
I need to think. I don't want to just appear on her doorstep, you know? Wow. You know that talking to your sister may be the only way to get uh, the answers that you're looking for. You know that, right? I do. Unraveling my past has long been a dream of mine. But I have to admit, I never expected to feel so, well, nervous about finding out how I came to be where I was raised. I couldn't have done this without you. Thank you. Well, gotta throw something away. Whoops. I have so many questions. I do. I'm not far off anytime you need me. But I'm anxious to learn more about my mother and sister. And I want to make sure Inaliath has somewhere safer to stay. I'd like to think the Halixes owe her that much for her service. Man. That's kind that's legitimately kind of sad, man. Man. I feel bad for Bastion, dude. This makes me like Bastion a little bit more. And I already liked him a lot to be honest. He's a little goody two shoes, but even then, he's got a huge heart knowing that he's been through so much hardship and yet he still has a gigantic heart, you know? Makes me respect him greatly. All right. That does it for this quest, I guess. Let's go ahead and go.